is happening everybody? Clay Pike, Jupiter Farmer, and today we're going to take a close look at neem oil and keeping your bugs under control, or let me rephrase that, keeping your garden healthy and your plants vibrantly growing, and unlike what I've done this year is allow these damn things to just raise hell, I'd have twice as many tomatoes, I've chunked so many tomatoes into the grass due to the fact that I have not sprayed but one time. But I, I think I'm going to be okay. There's still quite a bit. But I want to talk about the neem oil and one of the most important things that you can do, guys. And I'm going to give you this tight shot right here of this thing right here. And this is, I'm sure probably a lot of you know what I'm looking at here, is a water heater, solar water heater that I built and out of PVC, and all it is is some, uh, some tees, one inch tees, and one of the important things that you wanna do is, you know, make sure you have a vent. I have this one here where I put the hose in, and this right here allows the air to come out so that it fills up a lot faster, and then obviously when it does fill out, the water will come out of here because this is about the diameter of a hose. So all I do is just take my hose here and just stick it up in there like this. Or there we go. And just turn it on. And it'll it'll fill up pretty easy, you know. And then you could fill that and then through the course of the day, what happens is whenever you need it, you'll have hot water just as long as there's sun. And if you really want to make this thing really nice and you know, temperatures you know well above 150 degrees you can encase this you just you know tack some two by fours you know along the bottom and across the top and put a piece of plexiglass on that thing that'll definitely get the temperature up there but the, why, why do you want to do that is because this neem oil is the viscosity of it plays hell on your sprayer it will clog up your nozzle so what I decided to do is just do a gallon at a time. And today I'm gonna to do both sides of the garden, so I'm gonna do two gallons. Sorry, I'm talking a little fast here. Doing two gallons because I wanna you know, get everything covered real well. So what we got here is the neem oil. It's a shot of the neem oil. And this, this neem oil right here is an awesome product. Uh, it's a cold pressed neem oil. It's, uh, super clean neem and I, I had a, watched a video by John Kohler about this product and so I ordered it online you can find neem oil at Home Depot pretty readily but uh, this is supposed to be you know the bomb right here because the guy goes into detail on why you'd want to why you'd want to use this clean neem being that it's cold press versus whatever other kind of press, distilled or whatever he, he calls it. And then the other product that we use is, we meaning me, is this Bronner's, uh, Dr. Bronner's uh, Magic Soap. But this, is, this, this particular variety, it's old and it's faded. I can't really read it, but I believe this is the citrus variety. So what they call for is two tablespoons of each. And um, so what you would do, and I'm about to get, to get to doing it here, is take you an old mason jar, put a couple tablespoons of each, shake it up, and what I'll do is I'll use my water from my little solar heater to fill my backpack sprayer. And so I mounted this thing on one of the poles on the pole barn right here, just, just high enough where I could stick this backpack sprayer right underneath it so that it'll fill it up. I just, I gotta get a hose on this thing. Well, there's my little hose right here is blocking it. But, you know, I can stick it under here like this, fill it up with some nice heated water, and that'll keep the, that, that oil from coagulating because what happens is, and I've done it and don't recommend it, don't let it sit and pick the sprayer back up because it will coagulate once it gets cold. You start pumping away, your nozzle gets, uh, gets clogged, so you know whatever you want to do whatever you do let me say like this is use it all rinse it out good and avoid having to take that nozzle out and clean it up so I'm gonna go ahead and get to mixing here okay 
so the first thing I'm gonna do is put the water in here. Maybe a little bit. Oh yeah, that's nice and hot. Take my neem, got a little tablespoon measurement. So I'm going to do four gallons, so I'm going to do, I mean, excuse me, two gallons in the backpack sprayer, so I'm going to do four of these in there. I do the neem first. You can see this water is nice and warm and it's still wanted to separate, but can't expect any different from oil, but this will help break the oil up. So one, two, three, four, just a dash for extra measure. Okay, so we got those two items done. And now we're gonna put two gallons in the backpack sprayer. So I'm gonna just hold this up right here. That's why I need a hose. Boy, this this is really hot, guys. I mean, this is nice. It's only been an hour since I filled this up. And it's crazy warm. Let's see where we're at with my level. A little bit more. You can tell that thing's not mounted too nice. I just threw it up on a cinder block. You can't probably see it in the frame, but sitting on a cinder block and one screw at the top. Okay, so that's two gallons right here. Let me come around here. Set this up on my makeshift table here. I gotta, oh boy. Well, you know, it's funny because uh, these, backpack sprayers have a two right here and a one gee two gallons one gallon but the design of it's really poor because they have it at an angle this is this piece of metal here is at an angle so you know you put two gallons in there and it doesn't show but if you if you level it you'll see it's at two gallons don't ask me why i tried to bend this not happening, so anyway, so I made a line right here to help me out a little bit, but it's not exact. You know, it's not an exact science, but it's close. So we got that going on. Nice, nice, nice warm water. Shake that up good. And add this into the sprayer. Like that, and that's it. That's all you gotta do. Put your top on, just make sure you use it all. With that warm water, it is definitely going to stay in the soap, separated. So it's always nice to, I put this up on, that's my trailer right there. On the other side, there's a fender well. This is the fender well on this side, but there's ants over here, that's why. But, uh, so I put it up here. And, and it makes it easy to put on. All right, well that's it. I just want to also mention that you don't see me in it a lot, but definitely try to wear a hat. I mean, I have got so many scars from dermatologists, it's crazy. And this, not that I'm promoting this product, but this is the best do-rag. It's pl uh, pelagic, and this thing right here is nice. It doesn't smother your face, and I don't wear it very often. If I'm going to be in the sun a long time, all day, I'll put, I'll put this thing on. It's crazy looking, granted. If you wear glasses, you can just keep it right there. It gives you a little ventilation. It's not real good early in the morning, but this right here is the ticket to keeping you out of the dermatologist's office. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the slider and we got some beautiful clouds today. 
some nice white fluffy clouds moving nice and slow so we'll probably do a little time lapse of spraying the garden and i appreciate you guys tuning in like it if you got any questions leave them in the comments below y'all take care